National Educator. Hello learners, I am teacher Thaddeus Baluka and today I'm going to take you through secondary chemistry revision lesson 14. Welcome. In our today's lesson we are going to focus on the structured questions whereby we are going to be mainly interested with what is tested, how it is tested and what is expected by looking at various questions. So question number one, study the standard electrode potentials of the half cells given below and under the question that follow. The letters do not represent the actual symbols of the element. So I'd like to, uh, to you to have a look at that particular question that uh, when we're given that uh, a reduction potential rather the the electrode potentials of elements of various half cells, then you are supposed to use it to answer the question that follows. So let's start by unpacking that particular question. So this question requires the, the students to demonstrate the understanding of reduction potentials and use the knowledge acquired to calculate the electromotive force of an electrochemical cell. Write the cell notation and determine if a redox reaction occurs or not. So we're going to be using those reduction potential that were given in that chart. Then we are supposed to use them to be able to calculate the electromotive fold, determine if a redox reaction occurs or not. So the question that we're given there are as follows. The first question is identify the strongest oxidizing agent and you give a reason for your answer. You also support to identify two half cells you're also supposed to identify two half cells, two half cells that produce the highest potential when combined. Draw an electrochemical cell for the cell above and show on the diagram the flow of electrons. Write the cell notation or other convention or what you call cell representation for the above cell. Calculate the electromotive folds of the cell. The other question is explain whether the reaction represented below can take place. Select the strongest reducing agent or what you call the weakest oxidizing agent. Explain which element is likely to be hydrogen and give a reason for your answer. Which of the metals cannot be displaced from the solution of its salt by any other metal in the table? then you also give a reason. So let's start by looking at the, let's look at the question. First of all, you start by analyzing that. So I just want to point out some issues that you're going to use here that the most negative, most negative means higher higher reducing power higher reducing power so the the the, the elements rather the half cells uh, with the highest negative value or rather potential electron potential show that they have a higher reducing power or rather they are stronger reducing engines they have a higher tendency to lose electrons so most positive means these are the the strongest oxidizing agents oxidizing agents and they have a higher tendency to gain electrons this one they have a higher tendency to gain electrons so that's it so the more negative values indicates a higher tendency of the species involved um, uh, to, to, to lose the electron when you say they are negative, but more positive 
uh, show they have a higher tendency to gain electrons. So after understanding that, we can be able to now look at the questions. 